was about to say something stupid. And you're like, what would that be? I was like thinking, wouldn't that be bad for that that oil in there? Like, duh, we've the, the drained it all drained. out. <laughs> but you definitely don't want none of that in that. No, I'll clean it out good once I get this out of the way. I'm just getting chunks out of the way. So what we found is a um, bearing, what do they call it? A bearing, no, 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 the, what? the part that... Oh, the repair bearing. The repair bearing, which is... This right here, which was a huge cost savings because the axle with the bearings and everything per side was $169. The repair bearing, and this is the higher quality one, was $35 a piece. So a huge cost savings. And uh, apparently this is a real common problem with forts. Um, a common enough to where they actually made a part to uh, to address this problem without having to replace the, the axles themselves. So that is what Jack is working on right now. He's getting ready to remove the old bearing that is shot. So that we can install this new assembly that should... Um, rectify the problem with uh, the issue with where these old bearings have worn you know huge uh, wear marks on the, the axle itself and like I said before I'm really lucky to have Jack come and help me Jack's a certified ASC mechanic Where'd you go to school at, buddy? South Central in Mankato. Yeah. Hello. And Jack actually worked for a race car company too, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, and worked uh, and built race engines. So I am super lucky to uh, <laughs> have swindled my friend into coming to help me. I got that right. <laughs> Wow, that came out like butter. It also popped a bearing out in the race. So. Oh yeah, it's probably <laughs> worn out enough to where it just fell out. Mm -hmm. That only took a fraction of the pounds is over there. Oh really? Yeah. This one came out easier than the other one? Wow, that's amazing. And you sprayed the other one, you said. Well, I just sprayed this one too, but I, yeah, I didn't let it sit forever. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. Not good. Yeah. Not good. Yeah, all that silver. All those metal shavings. Not where they... The metal should stay on the metal. It should not float around. So here's what our greased for life bearing looks like. A repair bearing. You can see it's way bigger. Got the seals on both sides. Uh, the whole purpose of this thing is to move the entire bearing out. Um, and get to a fresh spot on the axle, and uh, so we're gonna put her in. Then yeah, what's cool is that it keeps the the gear oil out of the bearings too. Yep. It actually Pre makes them a, a sealed bearing. <laughs> yeah, it's greased for life. I love it. Just like the the pumpkin lubricant. You know, says that it's uh, yeah. lubricated for life as long as it's not. As long as it's not used. Yeah, or submerged in water or something else. And Jack was telling me that these will be left out quite a bit so that if anybody ever works on my van again and they're saying, you know, hey, your bearings are coming out, to make sure to tell them that, no, no, this is actually the way they're supposed to be installed because they are a bearing um, 
an axle repair kit. Wow, you can really tell the difference in where those bearings sit compared to that and the old ones. Yeah, it definitely pulls it way out. Yeah, way, way out. Um, um, twice on Sunday. And this side could actually be left out a little more than the other side, right? Because the axle is so grooved. Yep, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm leaving it out between the, the eighth and a quarter like they call for. So we're right in the middle. And that's that for that. Shove the axle back in, let's pump it back together. Fill her up with fluid. Kaput. Yeah, that made a really fat. I'm surprised how fast that... That really went fast. Well, when they're engineered to the right specs, they go together right. Yeah, holy <laughs> smokes. Yeah, because you didn't have to really bang on the bearing puller to get it out. No. Here, let's, uh, let me see something real quick. If everybody looks at that axle, you can see this looks like a machine groove. And that isn't. That's actually caused from the bearings wearing on the axle itself. And this is what we're trying to uh, get the bearings not to ride on. This pushes the bearings way out here. Yep. so that it, the bearings are riding on a nice flat spot on the, the axle.